Welcome to Lesson 8-5, The Mean as a Balance Point. Let's look at what we're going to be doing. Move all of the dots so the balance point remains the same. So here we see a dot plot that has three blue dots right above this 9. The 9 is the balance point. So we're going to think of the dot plot as a scale. And we're going to think about it as a balanced scale, kind of like a teeter-totter. Right now, with all three dots right in the middle, it is balanced. So I want to move them so that it is still balanced at 9. So how can I do that? Well, I'm going to take my dots and move them. So here I have moved my dots and my balance point is still 9. How did I know to do this? Well, I thought about it mathematically. Over here, I know that each dot is worth 9. So I added up 9 plus 9 plus 9, and I got 27. I have 3 dots, so 3 dots divided by 27, well, that gives me 9. 9 is my mean. The balance point is another word for mean. So if I want my mean to still be 9 with my balance point, I need to think of essentially three numbers that when added up and divided by 3 will give me a balance point of 9. So when I move my dots, now I have 8 plus 9 plus 10. Well, I know 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 plus 10 is 27. 3 goes into 27 9 times. So I have moved all of my dots so that my balance point is the same. I just moved one dot over here to the left of my balance point and one dot to the right of my balance point. Let's look at another example. Okay, let's look at another example. This one says move all of the dots so the balance point or mean is 6. So this right here would be our balance point. That's what we want it to be. Right now, it's not because all of these dots are going to make our scale tip to the left. Let's see what the balance point is with this data right now. So if I look at the dots above the 3, I know that we have 3, 6, 9, and if I look at the dots above the 6, um, I know I have 3 of them, and 3 times 6 is 18. If I add those together, I would have 27. So, I have 6 total data points, so I'm going to divide 27 by the number of dots, or the number of numbers, 6 goes into 27 4 times. 4 times 6 is 24. 27 minus 24 is 3. Um, I'm going to add a decimal point 0. And 6 goes into 30 evenly 5 times. So right now, my balance point is actually 4.5. But the problem says they want it to be 6. So I need to move these dots so that my balance point is 6. Well, I could do this a couple ways. 
I could move all of my dots so they stacked right on top of six. If I have six dots on top of six, I have 36. If I'm dividing it by the number of numbers, which is six, I know six goes into 36 six times. So my mean or my balance point would be six. That is one possible answer. Let's look at some more. Okay, so I could try to level out my data. So I'm going to take my six data points. I know I want my balance point to be six. So then I'm just going to kind of put them on each side and evenly distribute my six dots. Then I can add them up and divide by six. So if I have two on top of five, I know I have ten. I have two dots above six, so that's twelve. Two dots above seven is fourteen. I can add those up and get thirty-six. Divide thirty-six by the number of numbers and I get six. So my balance point is six. So let's go ahead and erase this. So this is one possible answer. So there are lots of possible answers, lots of different ways to find your mean. Um, so you just have to make sure that when you add up your data and divide by the number of dots that your mean is what you need it to be so that your scale is balanced. All right, so today you guys learned how to use the mean as a balance point. Hi kids, take out your math and have a seat.